Hi everyone, this is Srinivas. Welcome to Amirpet Technologies. So in this video, I'm going to continue the series of Java full stack. See, in the last video, I have explained introduction part to Java full stack. So in this video, I'm going to explain what is the importance of variables and programs, everything. See, so according to our last video, we have some knowledge so what is the use of programming means what to develop the application we are developing the application for example i explained with an example called banking now think about the banking think about this banking see banking is always provide services to customers customers means what account holders so account holder is one program so i'm taking account holder is one program now we need to create programs for account holder okay so what i should write in program what i should write in program simple see in program so what account consists every account nothing but every program consists information data if you ask so tell me your account details which is called information which is called data which is called data account information so what is that account number account holder name so what is the balance in account so what is the pin number what is the ifsc code this is called information this is called information so where we will store the information technically programmatically we store the information into variables into variables application programming is used to develop the application the first point applications is nothing but consists of programs just account program if it is college management system student right lecturer these are the programs if it is library management system book librarian student these are the programs in the same way in banking account is one program okay first of all you need to think about the data so tell me some information about your account yes so where we will store the information technically variables we'll see briefly what are variables and all the next one is for example in your account balance is there some balance is there for example 5000 rupees balance is there 5000 balance is there okay so then when the balance will change when the data will change the balance will change when you do some operations on account. I just want to withdraw 2000 rupees. Okay. Then it will change to 3000. Here it is. I just want to deposit 3000 rupees. 3000. Yes, it will change to 6000. I just want to recharge my account mobile with a 500 rupees right here it is a 5500 the data always changes the data always changes when you perform the operations on data technically these operations are called methods are called what methods technically these operations are called methods so here every program consists only two things sir i am writing program okay application consists programs only perfect so what program consists program consists variables variables are used to store the information second one operations operations are used to perform is nothing but simply to say methods methods 
are used to perform operations on data. Only two things are present, variables and methods. Variables to store the information, methods to perform operations on information. For example, this is the one. So why you are learning programming? I just want to develop applications. Okay. What application consists programs? Right. One program example. Suppose account. What program consists variables and methods? Okay. What is the purpose of variables? Store the information. What is the purpose of methods? To perform operations on information. The simple way of understanding the concepts. Hope you understood. We will meet in the next video. Thank you all.